G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video called I Hate Dating by a YouTuber called Myra West. She's a vlogger. Um, and this is an interesting one because uh, this is a lady who is probably experiencing what dating uh, is like for most men out there. So she's doing a vlog on it. I actually did agree with a lot of the points uh, that she made. So let's jump in and get started. I'm gonna record another video on how stupid dating is and how much I hate it and how I'm not going to ever do it again. I'm so frustrated. I, I'm i just like brooding over it right now. I'm at a Rover house and I'm just thinking about how, well, I was listening to a lot of YouTube videos about how to get him attached to you within the first two weeks and how to make him never want to lose interest and how to keep yeah see once again i'll put i'll do a lot of um reviews and commentaries of those type of videos where the women are essentially grifting chicks like this um you know like almost like the female version of puas um, and how to get guys attached and uh, promise them the world and they're going to get high value men and then they start to realize that's all bullshit that doesn't work um, it's not in reality. So I think it's good at the penny drops on some of these ladies. Keep his interest in blah, 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 and how to like get your hooks in him really fast before he loses interest in you. All these stupid dating videos. I can't believe that I've allowed myself to go down that rabbit hole of doom of going on those stupid YouTube channels and researching like how to get him hooked on you, how to get him crazy about you, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> because <laughs> dating is so unnatural. You, you are strangers you've never met before. Yep. And then you go on a date you might be excited before the date. You might have all these high expectations and you probably fantasized about who this person is. So chances are you're going to be disappointed when you meet them. How good is that? Straight from the horse's mouth, guys. They live on the fantasy. They live on the um, the idea of what you are, but not really what you are. And that's why when a lot of the time as men, happened to me, guys, countless times too, you go on dates, you build, you, they, they build you up into something you may not be. Um, and you go on a date and then before you even know, before you even get home, you've been blocked and deleted off an app or you, you've realized that a message you might have sent um, has bounced back, right? So the, 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 they are becoming self-aware how bullshit that is, which is, I do think, good. I'm going to say some of them anyway. I haven't seen a lot of women carrying on too much like this, but I do find it interesting that uh, this sort of material is being made. And this is a couple of years old, this video, uh, by the way, so who knows? So I might actually check after this where she's ended up um you know further on her channel and then like they get one shot one shot this stranger who you've never met before in your entire life gets one shot and i was just thinking today it's exactly like an audition not yep. quite an interview it's an audition you're Straight auditioning up. for the part and if you are nervous for your audition or you mess up your words on your audition or you're just not quite yourself you may be tired or not having a good day you bomb the audition. it's true i think i think women get a lot more grace than what men i'm not like oh, a man good and women bad I'm, I'm saying just from reality guys will generally give women a lot more grace um, unless you're a complete utter weirdo um, which there are plenty of them out there Guys, guys generally will put up with or understand that someone's nervous. Um, absolutely. But hey, guys out there, uh, put in the comments if you've ever had an experience where you met with a girl, um, she maybe she hasn't wanted to, to talk on the phone or something like that before you met. That's why I have a phone rule. Um, and had a phone rule um, for years. It had to be a discussion on the phone before I would even meet because you can turn up with these women not knowing what you're getting. Not so much even from the physical. You go there and you just turn up and it is just a weird dynamic you're not getting on or they're not talking to you um or it's just completely just you start off on the back foot whatever it is you have a really shit time and you you waste your time and you wondered why you wasted all that effort to go and meet someone and waste the you know whatever money you might have had to spend on a date or whatever it is for a massive disappointment when you could have just had a phone call so i always say this to guys and a lot of people um do you agree with me on this one, which I think is good? A lot of women actually push back on it, but it's having a, a decent conversation before you even consider meeting um, a person. I say that for, for women and men. I think in, absolutely women, you should be speaking to the guy to make sure you're bloody vibing with him before you meet because a lot of personalities don't match up and you get you just waste your time. 
But I've had experiences when I've met women. They're like perfect in the text messages. You're funny, you banter, you meet them. It's like stone cold ice queen, right? Um, maybe you, you're not. Maybe they feel like you can't fish them. Or maybe you're not what they built up in their mind. I don't know what it, what it is or what happened in the in a few occasions where that had happened to me. It wasn't a regular thing, but it had happened. Why they acted like that when you could have just avoided it. And you never get a call back. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm having a mental breakdown. No, I'm just so angry. Like, it's not okay to give somebody one chance. And if they are nervous, <laughs> I should just come clean. That person is me, okay? <laughs> it's me. I... I'm the person who somebody gives one chance to, and I am the one who is nervous, and I probably mess up on the date. I'm not my true self. I, I don't act fun or silly or goofy or funny because those things do not come out of me until I feel comfortable and safe with somebody. Fair but enough. you don't get time to get comfortable or feel safe with somebody because they're a stranger and you have no relationship with them whatsoever. So of course you're gonna fear judgment and of course you're gonna feel the pressure of being on an audition. Welcome, and, and I'm not saying this for men and women, and welcome women to how men have been feeling for a very, very long time. And I'm not gonna make presumptions, but generally women that are getting dumped and, and chucked like this, they're generally going for guys that are probably far out of their league. Um, you know, she's only a normal girl, you know, a bit awkward, but there'll be a lot of guys out there who would love this girl next door type, would love to have a girlfriend like that. So I think the kind of guys that'll be, you know, throwing her to the side of the street um, will be guys that either are just looking up, um, looking for an, a route, looking for some action on the first or second date, and she's obviously coming across as awkward, and they're saying, you know, you know, Monster Hunters, we've, we've done it before. You work out, you're like, yeah, it's going to be too much effort. Like, can't be bothered with this one and you just you, you cut it loose maybe that's sort of how she comes across and how guys are approaching her oh there's no way that i'm actually gonna post this because i'm screaming yeah and then like how unnatural is it to be looking at videos about how to keep somebody's interest and try to keep them interested in you like and work yep. hard for it and do all these tricks and games and like say exactly the right thing and these certain texts you're supposed to send it's all stupid it's stupid it's bullshit most of it never works it works on a subset um, of women or men uh, so you got these um you got male and female versions of this that have all these guides strategies and stuff like that and um, they sell them to people, guys buy them thinking, and you know, they've been promised this sort of blueprint, right? And how everything's going to work. But the way that inter it, it, you can have a blueprint, but if you're awkward, uh, you don't have good social skills, or you can't execute any of that stuff well, you're going to have a hard time. She comes across as awkward. That's why she's having a hard time. As I said, I'm sure there'll be a million of dudes that would love to take her out, right? So... For, an, for she's she's okay. Look, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, for a woman like this to be complaining about dating, um, like it's a huge problem. That they've definitely got to be going for guys way out of their league, right? Because as I said, there'd be millions of guys that would just would take a, a girl next door type like this. Not a problem. Bullshit. It's all stupid, and I refuse to take part in it. I refuse. I. The, what a mistake. It is such a mistake to meet a stranger with an expectation to be in a relationship with them. It also gives you such an all or nothing mindset. If you don't feel the instant connection with that person and you don't feel instantly attracted or instantly interested, mm. uh, you're done. You're on to the met, on to the next, on to the next. And it's easy. It's easy to leave because you have no attachment with that person whatsoever. <sighs> Point is, I think a better way to do it that gives a fair shot to everyone, including those of us who are nervous or awkward or unable to be ourselves on the first date, is not to date. That's the best way. <laughs> Don't date. Uh, well, we got wig, wig towel. The wig towels, guys. It's getting that bad out there that you got women swearing off um, 
dating. So there you go. I don't think it's all a female problem. I think it's a society problem. Like I'm balanced guys on this channel. I make fun of chicks, but only when they really deserve it. You know, with the TikToks and these videos where they, they talk rubbish and I'll just, you know, obviously pay out on them. But there are a lot of fuckwit guys out there as well who do all sorts of dumb shit. And unfortunately, they're probably the types that this chick's running into. Then they cause problems for women. And then women start judging all men. we got guys who go um, right down the rabbit hole. Um, they start getting frustrated and disliking women because they have bad experiences or rejected. And you get women like this, they end up going onto those bloody uh, womanist misandrous channels and start watching that stuff because they get angry and jaded at, at men who lie and cheat and uh, all that sort of stuff. right? So I think society is burning down. I think the dating apps have absolutely pushed that, right? Our dating apps and uh, the internet and smartphones have absolutely destroyed, I think, what once made dating a, a reasonably enjoyable experience for both parties and something to be excited about. Like as I said, I can absolutely identify the differences in a dating landscape. I had one really nice... I will, I had one good dating experience. Look, when I was younger, I had a girlfriend for three or four years, the Polish girl. And while she was hard to deal with, that whole courting experience wasn't bad at all. It was very wholesome, right? It was very wholesome. Um, uh, she was a nice girl and she was a normal girl and I took her out and I, was, I, I wasn't getting disappointed um, by flaky behavior or anything like that. Uh, she seemed to appreciate it, especially at the start. Uh, as you know, guys, a lot of women can... If you, if you, if you do um, spoil them, uh, you make rods for our own backs, right? That they can become very hard to deal with later on. Um, but in the overarching, uh, getting to know her, taking her out, she was very appreciative. She was happy to be there, all that sort of stuff. Uh, from when I went, um, after I got married and then got divorced and then went onto the dating apps, the experience was completely turned on its head. It just didn't feel like the same anymore. It's like you're living in a different world, a different reality about how people treated and interacted with each other, both men and women. Um, I think it was just too much options on both sides, um, especially for, for women. They got too much options. They um, they have the build a bear uh, type approach. They build a Frankenstein's monster um, of the different parts of men that they've been with in the past, and now that's what they want. Um, they can never be satisfied. Even even average type women um, do that sort of stuff as well. You know, they gas each other up, and it makes it very hard for men because I only speak from the men's perspective. But I'm sure there are women out there that have a hard time too. Just want to meet a genuine guy, and and they're coming across monster hunters who are rooting and booting them. So I think. While that stuff's always happened now, it's it's happening on a huge scale. People are becoming more and more um, desensitized um, and detached about and less empathetic about other people's emotions because you're just a picture on a screen. You're easily replaceable. It's easier if you're a good guy on a dating app. It's easy to meet girls. You can fuck them off and just get another one the next day, the next hour. You've already talking to a new chick, you know. But back in the day, like when I went out with uh, with that girl and I was really putting the effort in, she was a stunner as well. I was like, there's no, I said, I've got to put the effort in here because in my mind, I was like, it's going to be very difficult to have this again. Like, I valued it. But I can speak absolutely from a guy who had lots of options later on in life on dating apps that I didn't value women who are probably even better looking than her. I didn't value them. I knew I'd get more. There's another bus coming down the road. So it's definitely turned it on its head. All right, guys, halfway through the content, if you're enjoying this video, uh, please sub to the channel, aim for 10,000 subs. Um, if you want to support the channel further, um, check out uh, my Patreon if you'd like to uh, pledge. Um, alternatively, guys, just watch the videos through to the end. That's what really helps me out. Get YouTube to pay me. Um, I, I really won't try and ever sell you guys anything, courses, anything like that. Just watch the videos and watch me for free. I, I keep doing this where I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'll try it. Like, I'll try, like, online dating and I'll try going on a date. And then when you end up liking somebody and fucking it up because you're not, you're, you're not able to be yourself on a first meeting and you're nervous and closed up. I don't even know what I was saying with that thought. Gosh, I don't even know what I was going to say. But point being, it's not natural. And the way that I need to do it from now on, I am giving myself, I am for, I'm gonna do it this way from now on, is you go to groups, you go to hiking groups, you go to yoga classes, you live your life, you go to a race car track and race your car, because I've considered doing that, you go rock climbing, you, you join an improv group, you join a theater group, you do everything that you want to do with your life. You go to college, you take college courses, and then there you are interacting with the same group of people every week or every couple days or every day. 
you're with the same group of people and you are able to develop a normal natural connection a human connection where there is feeling and where there's actually like some trust built and some kind of foundation and some safety instead of feeling like you're on a fucking audition i'm so sick of it and i, I did it to myself but <laughs> so many mistakes were made um I don't like the all or nothing mindset. I would like to get to know people. You know, dating apparently is not for people genuinely wanting to get to know people. It's about, are you entertaining enough? Are you fun enough? Are you funny enough? Will you- That's really interesting coming from a female. I think a lot of guys, I'm gonna speak for many guys, um, that's the frustration that we have with women because you're not doing a, a tap dancing show. Right, you're not you're not the super entertaining director of um, uh, uh, entertainment and events. You know, taking them on hot air balloon rides and taking them out and doing all sorts of stuff like that. We we get boring. Right, it's like when guys get into long term relationships. They might be Mister Fun at the start, and then we um, go get into the hodgepodge of life, paying bills, paying for mortgages, paying for cars, whatever it bloody is, kids or whatever. You get boring. What happens? Wives leave men. Men don't leave boring women a lot of the time. They might cheat on them here and there. I reckon if they're not getting a root, that's when that happens. But they don't leave them and blow up families and stuff like that. So I think it's interesting that she's having this experience. I'm not saying it doesn't happen for women. I'm not a woman. I haven't been on dating. I'm going to say that doesn't happen. I get women emailing me um, now um, saying that what I'm saying is not true. Or some guys, maybe some guys who've been married for a very long time and haven't been out in a dating market, you know, um, disagree with a lot of the things that I have to say. But, you know, if, if you haven't done it, you just... You never understand as a man uh, what life's like. So women complaining that men um, dump them for being boring. I think that would be a minority. I, I'd actually um, the women that I've dated and got along with really well in the past, especially post divorce, are the ones that I considered to be more safe bets, more wholesome, um, less um, party girl type, less high maintenance type. Um, women, women a lot of the time like this. I thought they were great and good options to hang around with and see what would happen. So it's really interesting that maybe she's going out with guys that are maybe looking for, I don't know, um, I, I can't even understand it. I, I, I think she just seems nice. So obviously she's going out with um, Chad's. don't know. Give me a good time. Will, are you adventurous enough? Are you silly enough? Can you keep my interest? Can you entertain me? Mm. I, I'm so jaded right now. This is so bad. These are not my actual thoughts. Well, they are, but it's all jaded with a little bit of frustration. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, totally. I was like, I was rejected. I know it's, this is the fuel of this outburst. Ugh. But it's, it's, it's just teaching me a lesson that, again, I made the mistake of trying to date and learning again that casual dating or modern day dating, the way that it goes, meeting a stranger with an expectation of romance does not work. Gets rejected. I think, I didn't say, she didn't say how many it is, but she's been rejected once by the sound of it, which has then set her off to make this video. Monster Hunters, normal guys, we get rejected heaps of times. It's just the way it goes. Though it's, a, it, it's the way it goes for a man in the dating market. Uh, rejection, 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 after rejection. Um, if you can even try and find a diamond in a rough, there aren't many out there. I do think they are there, guys. I do subscribe to that. I do think there are good women out there. However, there aren't many. And uh, as I said, there are the female version of what this woman's talking about, getting dumped for being boring or not being exciting or not being whatever fantasy people have in their heads. So I, I get where she's coming from. I do find it interesting, though, that she has an experience and she gets this jaded over what, what seems like she's had a break from dating, dating, maybe she's talked to a guy, then met him and it's fucking blown up or whatever. Well, you know, get back on the horse. It's, um, dating's tough, I think, for everybody. Doesn't work. And the only way that's gonna work for me and my temperament and the fact that it takes me a while to be myself around somebody, but apparently nobody wants to give me that time, uh, I need to, just live my life and pursue my own things and meet people that way or just never meet anyone because this unnatural way it it just seems so self-focused and yes I'm absolutely one of those people where it's like I'm going into it expecting the other person or wishing the other person would be like the ideal person or my person like of course I have that hope 
but I do think the thing that separates me from a lot of these people is that if I don't feel a romantic spark right away, I still want to get to know that person, like mm. genuinely. Like I was thinking to myself, there are so many men that I've met that I would have loved to actually form real friendships with. There's a guy, a guy named Yehuda. Yehuda? <laughs> I loved him. Like I would be a like I would be friends with him. And we don't want to be your friends, right, guys? I want to come on and be friends, zone. That's the worst deal ever. Look, anyway, guys. I think we've probably seen enough here. If you want to watch the rest of her video, I've only got about halfway through it. I think it, you know, we, we extracted the, the most talking points that we could. Uh, the link's in the description. Um, go check her out. As I said, I think she's completely not reasonable. Um, it's just interesting to see that the women are also having this experience too. But I'd love to put a woman uh, in a man's body and then to go and experience dating. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for today. Once again, as always, if you've made it this far in, almost 21 minutes in, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.